What is going on everybody, it's Buddy here. Today I'm gonna show you guys a quick, simple way to detect a leak in your power steering system. Now if your power steering system is whining when you turn the wheel, or you see bubbles here under this cap when you start the car, then what you have is a leak in your system and it's sucking in air. <laughs> So one of the trickiest parts about finding the leak is that this system is under a vacuum, so it'll actually pull in air instead of dripping coming out and having a visible leak, it's going to be sucking in the air. And that's why you're getting that loud whining noise and also those bubbles in your reservoir. So if you looked everywhere for a leak and you couldn't find one, this is where this video is really going to help you out. This is a pressure tester for a radiator system. Now you can also use it here in your power steering system. So you're gonna have all these different attachments. This is gonna be the one we're gonna be using as a nice tight seal right here. And now if none of these work for your car, you can always just use this. This is just pretty much a big gasket. You're gonna put it in the hole until it gets nice and tight and then you're gonna pump it with air. And when you twist this as well, it also makes this a little bit thicker. So it gives you a nice tight seal in your power steering system. Now you can rent this kit free from Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone, O'Reilly, anything like that. It does come with a pump, and it does come with all the attachments like I showed you. So we're going to stick this right here. We're going to take this end of the pump. We're going to push it right on top until it clicks, just like that. You can always do a quick web search to see how much pressure is safe for your vehicle. I'm going to pump it to about 10 PSI, and that should be enough to form a leak. Now we do have this pump here, so we're going to start pumping. I'm also going to hold this down at the same time. Just make sure it doesn't pop back up on me. All right, so we're right there at about 10. I'm gonna place this down gently so this thing doesn't pop back up. Now I do have this held down at about 10 PSI because I don't want this to pop back up. It'd be a lot easier if you had someone holding it for you, but no big deal. So we're gonna take a peek at all our hoses down here. It looks a little wet because my girlfriend tried to pour some in here and it made a mess. And we're gonna take a peek down here. We're gonna take a peek back down here. And then we did see something. And if you look back here by the pump, you'll start seeing a drip. And the leak's actually coming right there between the plastic and the metal right where it meets. It's not coming from this hose clamp. It looks like all we have to do is tighten up that bolt right there and we're good. So obviously, this method might save you a whole lot of time. You should do it first before you start getting under the car, looking at the rack seals and all that good stuff. So hopefully I saved you guys a little bit of time. Be sure to subscribe and check out my channel and leave a thumbs up if you found the video helpful. And as always, be sure to hit the little thumbs up button here under the video. It really helps me out more than you guys know. And also definitely consider subscribing. I got some pretty cool videos here up on the screen that you guys will probably like. So definitely check my channel out and see if it's something for you. Until then, have a good one guys.